Hello and welcome back to Hartford Town TV, where today, Hartford Town fans take on Hartford Town coaches in a special charity event held for Great Ormond Street Hospital on the 17th of April 2017. <laughs> So here we have Lucas with a very intense warm up. Lucas today playing for the coaches. Just look at the concentration there in his face with this warm up. Very good job. So here we have the classic passing the ball in a circle warm up. Oh, he goes to Phil Lovell. Oh, and he not makes him. Absolutely brilliant. Look how overjoyed they all are. Here we have Phil Lovell and Daryl Mitchell dancing around in happiness. And that absolutely brilliant nutmeg. Here we have Alex Ward warming up, who's also playing for the coaches, who appears to be running in circles as his warm up. Very good job once again. So it's 2 pm and time to get into the game. The fans kicking off today. Ball is in play. Thompson on Fontos, currently with the ball. Plays it down the wing to Brian Jennings, who controls it. Plays it out wide, back to Tom. Back again and out of the field. Here we now we see Drapes calling for the ball. Oh, it goes over the heads onto Gavin Kelsey. That was a shocking shot. Didn't even connect with the ball. That was poor. And onto Darren Mitchell now who bangs it with his left foot just into the keeper's hands. Oh, Gavin Kelsey taps it off the defence now. Oh, he's running into the box. He shoots and misses. Ah, oh, Gavin, unlucky. Here we are with the ball playing to Gavin once again. Oh, and another miss. Unlucky, Gavin. Not too sure what he was thinking there. But, you know, it was a good ball. It, it, it was unlucky. The uh, ball being played in now. Into the box. Oh, goal by Drapes. What a goal on the volley. Bangs it into the bottom left-hand corner. What a celebration. Look, here's the replay. Bang. Bottom left-hand corner of the goal. What a goal. He'll be proud of that one. 1 0 to the coaches. Tell him I didn't get it, do it again. <laughs> Here we have uh, Gavin Kelsey once again. Oh, he t that, that could be a penalty, and it's not. He calls for a penalty, but uh, the referee doesn't give it. That was absolutely disgraceful behaviour from Gavin Kelsey. Shocking dive. Yeah, I think the referee made the right decision there. Oh, Gavin Kelsey takes another shot. Oh, that was poor. And another one. And it's over. <laughs> Once again, Gavin Kelsey hasn't had really a shot on target yet. Not too sure what the cameraman is doing here, folks. That is the stable end, as you can see. Yep, thank you very much for that. Here we have Daryl Mitchell pacing it through the middle now. We're making a good run here. Oh, he plays a good ball through now to Kieran Webb, who just chimps it over the keeper, unfortunately. That is offside, but great run there by the boys. Here we have, you know, the fans coming in on the wing. Oh, it's a tackle by Eddie McLaughlin in the box. Not a penalty. Oh, he shoots. I believe that is Pierce who makes the shot for the fans. Not too sure who that is. I apologise for that. Here we go. Here we think. So far zoomed out. That is shocking work by the cameraman. Don't know who puts it in the box. I think that's Alex Ward. Oh, he bangs it in. It, it was Alex Ward. On the volley, top left-hand corner, fantastic goal. Goes over to give Drapes a big hug and a high five. Look at that, that was a fantastic goal. Not going to show you a replay because it was so far zoomed out, even I have no idea what happened. Oh, what a great ball. I think that was Darren Mitchell. Another long ball. Alex Ward chips it over the keeper. It is another goal for Alex Ward. 3-0 to the coaches. And he's celebrating. Well, and no one really come over to him. Oh, look, there's Drapes. Nice little connection with the high five there. That was a great ball by Daryl Mitchell once again. And another great goal by Alex Ward. And that's it. The half-time whistle. The coaches winning 3-0 so far. So, moving to the second half now. Oh, Jamie Jackson set up there. Oh, and he puts it very far over. Now, the Half of Town Twitter saying, Hashtag 
he should have stayed in goal and I cannot disagree with that statement that was a very poor effort by Jamie Jackson well wide the ball played through to Daryl Mitchell now who hits it first time oh what a goal bangs it into the bottom left hand corner on the volley he takes his t-shirt off and he sprints over to that corner flag look at that there's no one there with him he doesn't care he gives us a little wiggle let's just watch the replay bangs it bottom left hand corner that was a great goal here's a celebration even better shake it off by Taylor Swift you know he must have been listening to that song beforehand yes he shouts absolutely fantastic Unfortunately, no one will run over to that corner flag with him, but he doesn't care. Look how happy he is. Absolutely great goal. Getting a bit of stick from the bench now from Gavin Kelsey, telling him to put it away. There are kids present, but Gavin, to be honest, you should be taking notes from this because that is how you score a proper goal. Well done, Daryl. Great goal. Yeah, the ball now, and he hits it. Oh, that was Wes. He hits it just wide. It was worth the shot. Very good effort. The ball now comes through to Ben Rafaas, who's been brought on as a sub. He hits it, and it's just wide. I don't think Phil Lover would have caught that. Here we have Ben Rafaas stepping up for a penalty, unfortunately. Wasn't able to catch the penalty incident. Going to have to sack the cameraman. Ben Rafaas steps up for it. He hits it with his left foot. Phil Lovell, oh, he hits it with the rebound. What a goal. Phil Lovell just got a foot to that. Ben Mathias hits it with the rebound. I'm not sure where he's gone, the cameraman. Shocking work, cameraman. Oh. There he is. No, we've lost him. There he goes. Fantastic goal and an even better celebration. The fans now with possession on the outside of the box. The ball goes into the box. James Jones goes to it now. He hits it and it's just past Phil Lovell in the bottom right hand corner. Does it even move Phil Lovell? That was a poor, poor goalkeeping effort from him. But a great goal by James Jones. Straight from kickoff now after that goal. Neil Draper posts through the middle, sees Alex Ward, puts it through to him, right past the keeper, he slots it in. Fantastic goal. Another goal. That's a hat trick for Alex Ward with a great ball by Neil Draper just after kickoff, making it 6 2. The fans now with a chance on the outside of the box. He puts it in. Oh, it's a goal. It's a header. 80th minute by Matty Crooks there. Just had to slot it in. And once again, very poor goalkeeping by Phil Lovell. He definitely needs to swap with Jamie Jackson. Jamie Jackson needs to get back in goal because he too, as I've said before, is very poor up front. We have uh, Lewis Thomas on the ball now. Oh, he's gone for his legs. That was a very good move. A very skillful player, Lewis. Oh, that's a brilliant tackle. That's a brilliant tackle. And the fans still have the ball. There's a shot coming on. And it's just over. But it was worth the, uh, it was worth the shot. Lewis Thomas with a very, very good run. Harvey for the coaches team now, playing along the wing. He looks up, sees Wesley in the middle, plays it to the winger who plots it inside the box and Wesley just taps it in. Great goal, great start there by Harvey. Fans on the outside of the box. Oh, and he hits it! Oh, what a goal! Top right-hand corner. Gavin, I hope you're still taking notes because that is how you score a goal. You've been shown twice today now. That was a fantastic goal. Let's look at the replay. Bang. Doesn't even need to touch it. First time hits it. And Phil Lovell, sorry to say it, but once again, that was shocking by you. Well, it's all going on in the box now. Goes through to Harvey. Oh, and another goal. That's 8-4 now to the coaches. Brilliant goal. Slots it in Harvey just there then. Uh, great setup by Wes. Them two making a quite pair. And that's it. There goes the final whistle. A brilliant game we had today. 8-4 was the final score to the coaches. I think probably my player of the match today has to go to Daryl Mitchell for, you know, the fantastic goal. Also, some great long balls through. And also, that celebration just can't be beaten. So, thank you very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like rating on today's video and subscribe to Hartford Town TV. And until next time, it's goodbye.